Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to make use of Spring Boot to connect to Google Cloud Service Cloud Spanner. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's go into the video. Let's head over to Google Cloud Console and make sure that you've created a project and selected the appropriate project. And move to Spanner. And it's just a three-step process. Just you need to create an instance and you can have to create a database and the, you, know, you, can, you can insert, a, you know, create a table and then insert the data. So let's create the instance. Let me give the instance name as demo instance. Okay. And then uh, you can create regional or multi-regional and then create the configuration. I'm just choosing the configuration from uh, now, whichever is um, shown here, I'm just going to create it near my region is US Central. Let me choose this. And then uh, processing uh, units, you can select this appropriate to your computing uh, stuff, like how much region rights you have create. And here you can see the instance is created. Now we have to create the database. Let me create one. I'll give the name as OIT demo. It's the database name. It's going to be a Google standard SQL or you can also select Postgres. Okay, it's it's up to you to select your uh, database dialect, dialect okay let me select uh, Google Cloud SQL standards and then click on create so as it is a transactional database so how, whatever we select it's going to be uh, uh, in a pure SQL so here you can see there is a DTL uh, template you can make use of this to create the database so let me create a employee table and I'll make a ID of string with 40 characters and the name of string let's say 50 and then let's make sure that uh, ID is a primary key. There's a mistake. Okay. S T R I N G. Okay. So click on submit. And that should create our table. updating the schema meanwhile we'll go to the spring initializer and then download the initial spring boot project initializer let's go here and we are going to use maven java 2.7.1 and then we're going to use make use of this one and it's a spanner demo spring boot gcp demo and uh, as part of dependency i'm going to select web and uh, we need uh, gcp support and we need I'll also use the REST repository. Okay, and we'll also make use of the developer tools. Okay, with this, I'm going to generate the project. And it got generated. Let me extract it. There you go. A project is imported, and it's open make sure that application is working yeah 
there you go application is working but it it requires the gcp credentials to log into gcp project so let's go to the gcp and create the service account let me go to the iam and admin and here it is let me create a new iam service account let me go to the service account and then uh, create a service account this uh, service account is to access the spanner for the youtube let me make it as uh, youtube spanner demo and uh, to access spanner yt demo db okay let me create and it needs a spanner let's say this should be able to read and write so this should be the least access i think i can give access read read query write view okay let me select this and then continue updating the policy user role i don't have anything for now to deploy or anything let me go ahead and click on done and then let me go inside this to get the keys let's create one add key create a new one it's going to be json key once you do this it will get downloaded let's go back and then get the keys back here uh, this is the one let me drag this into IntelliJ uh, into resource folder okay so here we go we got this and uh, the next step is we just have to point this uh, credentials file in our Spring Boot uh, app app dot properties just make the spring spring dot cloud dot gcp dot project id it's going to be our project id you can pick it from here here this is the project id just copy it and paste it here and uh, we need to point the credentials file we'll make that as uh, gcp dot credentials dot location this is going to be from our class path we'll mention as class path and the name of the file let me take this file name there you go now if we start the application it should not throw any error let's see let me go ahead and restart the application here go it able to connect to the project and you have a pubsub spanner admin spanner data data store so all these access you have now with the credentials which you provided right let's move uh, let's let me create a controller right right click new package controller and before that i would like to add one more package in uh, one more dependency in pom.xml which is uh, Lombok it's project Lombok yeah this one and uh, I would also like to add the spanner spanner from uh, yep Google Cloud right so we have got the Google Cloud GCP starter and we need the Google um, GCP starter data spanner to make use as like uh, the JPA um, which we did 
previously so now let me go inside this and uh, create a new class which is um, demo controller okay so this controller is going to have this is a rest controller let's say rest controller and then uh, it's going to have a git mapping it's a very simple uh, controller which I've created so let's save it restart and hit it from here to go to local host 8080 slash create so there you go you got hello and money back so that's what we have here in the controller so the others are working fine so let me create a package called model and we'll have our employee class created here employee and this is going to be annotated as a table and uh, we are going to have a primary key which is private string id and we also want to have private string name and we are going we are also going to annotate this as data from the book it is going to be a model and we'll just refer the table name here in spanner let's go back to spanner and refer the table let's go here it's the database name yt and the table name is employee so we are all good you can also refer the name here which is name equals employee we can also annotate uh, column name is and everything each for each field but we are not going to do that and then let's go ahead and create a new package repository repo and let me create a new class you know, it's going to be an interface I'm going to create a employee repository okay and uh, this is going to be under as a rest rest resource rest repository rest resource okay I'm going to extend this with the spanner repository and going to use employee and let's going to have a key of string type okay and uh, that's all we need for the repository from side let's go back to the demo controller and we'll insert the data what we receive in the name into the employee db that into the cl cloud spanner so to that for that what we have to do is we just have to annotate or to wire the employee repository and so whenever there is a request what i'm going to do is i'm going to do employee repository dot save and it's going to be a new employee and let me say that it's going to accept uh, all our constructor and go back here and I'm going to say U U ID dot random ID dot dot to string and the name which is passed right so with this 
it should store the data but we also need to configure before that we also need to configure the database uh, and which database it should point to all the details should go here so for the spring dot cloud dot gcp dot spanner dot instance id so you can go here to the uh, you can see here the instance name is demo instance so we just name take it as a demo instance and uh, we also need to name the database so it's the same id let's just now update the database which is going to be yd demo yd demo right so let's save this and uh, restart the application go back and start the application again there you go application is started let me clear the console and go back here and hit the same URL and before that I'll show you the database whether that has anything or not let us go inside the database and uh, see the data we don't have anything for now let me go ahead and hit this URL again And uh, we got the response back. Let's go back here and click on this. Uh, let, let us refresh this. Going back and forth. See here, we got the data. And we can also hit something else. Let's key uh, Shiva. And then press enter. It went. And now you should see the data back here. See here. So it's all that simple and it also expose the repository so if you go back to uh, our repository uh, you, the URL if you hit it's 80 you can also see that you can also look at the employees available so let's see I'm going at the end I'm adding employees and you can see the rest, uh, list of employees you also got that's because we use the rest, uh, uh, rest uh, rep uh, repository resource uh, here you can see at the repository level repository rest resources which is exposing uh, the repository as well so that is it's that simple uh, thanks for watching the video hope this is helpful um, make sure that if you are testing make sure that you are deleting uh, the database and the database instance thanks for watching share the knowledge